Yo, yo, YouTube. This will be a reasonably short video for Wednesday, the 17th of April, which is today. Um, I had a job booked in for this morning, going from Grantham to Abingdon. That was from yesterday. Um, very good job, except it was a nine o'clock pickup, which meant I had to get up early, which is horrible at the moment. But as I keep saying, um, um, it's it's always been difficult, best of all difficult at the moment. Anyway, I managed it. All right, I uh, got myself awake uh, without the use of an alarm um, by about seven, and then I'd got myself ready and left the house at ten past eight. It's about a 45 minute journey to Grantham from where I live. Um, roughly 37 dead miles to pick up the job. And I arrived on site at five to nine, a little bit early. And uh, I had been there before, so I knew um, where to go. And uh, last time I went, I remember I was waiting for ages to get through the, the barrier. Um, and I went, but this time it was really easy, they opened it straight away, pressed the button, they opened it straight away, and I was in the back and ready to be picked up. The only thing of note to say about um, this morning's pickup was the forklift driver was quite short with me. He was, he was, he said please, but I didn't think he meant it. <laughs> so can you please move over there, or can you please do that? Um, it was quite an aggressive please. Um, other than that, it was it was fine. He just he, he wasn't a warm person, let's put it that way. Uh, so I had one pallet to take. It was so the job I had was for a long wheelbase van. It was only one pallet, so I don't know why it was. I don't know why it was a long wheelbase van. It wasn't particularly heavy either. Um, so it was just one pallet, and I got. Uh, 150 pounds, 150 for that, and it was 129 loaded miles, 129 loaded miles. So, quite easy really. Uh, my only concern at this point was when I got to Abingdon, what would be the work like in that area? Um, I saw, I, I had a vague plan that I might dead my 10 or 15 miles somewhere better, but I'll wait and see what happens. So, I took that pallet down. It's quite a nice day again today. Took that pallet down. And I arrived at 20 past 12. Well, no, I'd, I'd finished 20 past 12. I arrived about 10 past 12 and was offloaded quite easily. So by 20 past 12, I was then looking for my next job. And I I think I'd stayed... Yeah, I was on... I came out of the yard and just parked up at the side of the road. There wasn't any WLA lines, just a... a, a just industrial estate and just parked inside the road and looked for jobs and then I bid on a few jobs um, it was I was sort of caught again in the middle of I was almost like a donut shape of drivers around me all lots of green active drivers all around me sort of Oxford Banbury um, can't think where else now but all around me there was loads of drivers and I was in the middle there's a couple of us here there but not very much and oh did cost I was near did cost as well so that's another place to remember um, so um, I bid on quite a few jobs and wasn't getting anywhere um, and I was getting really quite concerned about what I should do because there wasn't really anywhere obvious I could drive to from where I was to get the jobs the jobs were coming up from all over the place there was jobs from Swindon there was jobs from Slough there was jobs going from um, Abingdon where I was but not quite the right place um, so I was bidding on everything I could, could bid on I was trying to avoid central London if I could help it um, unless it was going to be the last job of the day in which case I would have done it um, and then I got to a point where I had to start thinking about reducing my pricing. So I was thinking I'll get to 85p a mile for small van work. Um, and 
and there's a couple of really good jobs. There was a job that went was picking up from I can't remember where it was picking up from. So, let's say Swindon. And it's going to Great Yarmouth for delivery in the morning. So I would have just taken that home and then left early in the morning on a really early day. And I put on a, less than a pound a mile for a short wheelbase van job, which I thought was really good value, particularly considering it was an overnight holding of the goods. But I didn't get that. Um, so there was a. I mean, usually when I'm bidding on stuff at my prices, I don't get them. I can't expect that because I can't bid a bit higher. And then when I bid a bit lower on like work like that, which is definitely worth it, I don't get it. I begin to get, get worried. So I think there's just so many drivers around that the prices were going quite low. So in the end, I did win a job, but it wasn't until just gone two o'clock that I got the call. And it was a, a job that was going to be collected from Swindon, and I was sort of 45 miles away, no, 45 minutes away from there. Um, it's 41 miles, and it was going to Derby. It was two pallets, and it required ID. And I put a bid on for um, the medium wheelbase van, £100 for 124 loaded miles, 1, 2, 4 loaded miles, which was about 80p per loaded mile. And I got that job. Now, I think, bearing in mind it needed I photo ID, I probably could have got a bit more for that, and I'll try and remember that for future. But to be fair, this was 2 o'clock. I'd been bidding for an hour and th three quarters and not getting anywhere. So it was. I'm, I'm glad I didn't go higher and take risk it. I'm glad I got the job. So I made my way to Swindon straight away and I arrived at five past three and picked up the two pallets that, that I wanted me to take to. That's actually. In the end, Carl Stonington was where I ended up going to. Um, so yes, yeah, so I picked those up, struck them down. There was no paperwork, I did, I did check. There's no paperwork for me to take. And so I made my way towards the Derby area. The road, the, the traffic was really quite busy. There was delays on the M1, delays on um, some other roads I was on. Uh, so by the time I arrived, it was ten to six, and in and just just as I arrived, just just as I was um, turning up, I got a call for a job for the morning. So I have got a job for the morning, and it is going to be from my home location. So I am going to go home tonight. So I had sort of planned to, to tramp out. But I don't need to now, I can go home after this. So this is it. I've now dropped off that load at uh, Castanton and I've just left the depot and I'm on my way home. I'm doing 56 dead miles to get home and I'll be home breeze. I'll, I'll, I'll be home when it's light still. I'll be home when it's about quarter to eight. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it really. That's my day. It's two CX jobs. I've got some stats which aren't very impressive, although they are better than the previous two days. I'm gradually getting more each day this week, but from, from a very low base, and nowhere near the target I want to achieve. Um, and tomorrow is another day, so we'll start again tomorrow, and then maybe I'll try back tomorrow, and maybe the next last two days of the week will be a bit better. But here are stats. Based on 17.10 pence per mile for my fuel, Today I have driven 358 miles, 358. I have worked for 11 hours and 50 minutes by the time I get home, and I would have earned £250, 250. That's £150 from this morning's job, um, Grantham to Abingdon, and the £100 I got going from um, Swindon to Castleton. I spent today on fuel £61.22 and, and that means after fuel I've earned £189.189. Yeah, 
so that's it really. Um, I've, I've got some, um, after yesterday's video I have had quite a few comments which I want to respond to tonight, if I can, um, as in type back. Um, so that was good. Um, I've got nothing to particularly say today, uh, I don't think. I have, oh yeah, I did, I did have, I'm not going to say, I had today a bit of a um, revelation. I'm gonna, that's, not, that's not the right word. I want to say epiphany is not a word either. Um, a decision, I made a decision today about my health, which I'm not ready to share with you yet because um, I might not fulfill it and I don't want to sort of say stuff before I'm sure I can do it. But today is the first day of me trying to be very conscious about one aspect of my health, which if I can achieve that, I'll then start to document it a bit better in the future. Um, but really am at my lowest ebb when it comes to this aspect of my um, physical health. Uh, mentally I'm fine today, had a good day, um, but uh, there is a, I have reached the nadir of my um, particular uh, concern which I will not go into right now. Okay, so thank you very much for listening to my video and I shall see you, hear you, speak to you tomorrow. Farewell friends.